Hi! In this video we are going to find out how to use the function gdalwarp to reproject, resample and clip a raster dataset to a shapefile. Now I've previously done a tutorial on how to use gdalwarp from the command line, I will link that up here in case you're interested, but today we're going to use the gdal python API to reproject, resample and clip our raster data in Python. Now I've already prepared a bit of code, so I'm importing the libraries of course gdal, then we need numpy in this tutorial and then matplotlib for visualizing our data. The rest of the data set we are going to work with today is again a digital elevation model called dm.tiff and let's quickly run this bit of code to have a look at it. So this is what this digital elevation model looks like. And as you can see here, I'm also printing out information on the geotransform of my raster dataset and also its projection. So let's check the geotransform, which is this up here. So we have the coordinates of the upper left corner of my digital elevation model right here. And then also its resolution, which we're going to change in a bit. You can see right now it's 10 by 10 meters. And as for the projection of my data, you can see I'm using the UTM zone 19S. Okay, let's do something to our raster dataset and let's start off by using gdalwarp for its main purpose, which is to change the spatial reference system of a raster dataset. So we will create a new variable for a new dataset, call that ds projected, something like this. And then we need, of course, gdalwarp. All right, here you already see the inputs that we need to provide. First of all, a destination file name or a destination dataset. And then secondly, an input dataset, or you can also provide a file name. So let's think of an output file name. We could call our dm dm reprojected.tiff. Now our input dataset or file name is going to be this dm.tiff file. You could either put that in here or because we've already opened it, we can just provide the dataset here. All right, so after providing these two arguments, you can see we can and actually need to provide further options if we actually want to change anything about our data, like for example, the coordinate system. So let's check out the available GDAL warp options. For that, we'll go to the GDAL web page. Here we are, and now let's go to the GDAL warp options. And you can see it's quite a long list, but I can already spot some keyword arguments that are going to be useful for our purpose. For reprojecting, for example, we are going to need to specify an output spatial reference system. Then for resampling our raster dataset, we need to change the X and Y resolution of our pixels. And keep in mind that we need to specify this in units of our target spatial reference system. And then for the final task of clipping the raster dataset to a shapefile, we're going to need to specify the cutline dataset name. And I also like to crop the extent of my raster dataset to the extent of my cutline shapefile. Okay, but let's first start by changing the spatial reference system, and we will do so by providing this DST SRS argument to the gdalwarp function in Python. So we have provided an output file name, input dataset, and now we specify the target spatial reference system. For this example, I'm choosing the WGS1984, and I will indicate that by providing the corresponding EPSG code, which is 4326. Okay, I will just quickly comment out all of this. And now let's run our Python script and check my working directory. So you can see we now have a new GeoTIFF file in here and we also have a new GDAL dataset in our variables. Now let's check the projection of this new dataset by typing dsreprojected and then get projection. And as you can see, we have successfully changed the spatial reference system. Now, as you've probably guessed from all the available options, we can not only use GDAL warp for reprojecting, but for example, also to change the resolution of our input raster dataset. Now, how would we do that? Well, let's create a new variable for a resample dataset. And again, we're using GDAL warp. Name the output, however you like. Provide an input, which is again our DEM. And now let's set a new X and Y resolution. Now here we are going to stick to the UTM coordinate system so we can directly provide the new X and Y resolution in units of meters. Otherwise, if you would, for example, add a new resolution up here, you would have to put that in units of degrees. I prefer meters and let's make a resampled DM really cool. So you remember right now our digital elevation model has a resolution of 10 by 10 meters. Let's set that to 150 times 150 and run everything. Here's our new dataset and let's check its resolution by getting the geotransform. So ds resampled get geotransform. 
and you can see our new dataset has a resolution of 150 times 150 meters. We can also have a short look at it. I'll just copy this bit of code up here, change that to our resampled dataset. Now here's our resampled DEM looking super coarse, but showing us that everything has worked just as we wanted it to. The default resampling method GDARWARP uses is nearest neighbor, but we could also change that by setting the resample algorithm to bilinear, for example. Okay, final thing I want to show you is to clip a raster dataset to the bounds of a shapefile. I've prepared a cutline polygon for that. You might have already spotted it in my working directory. It's called star.shp, and let's use this shapefile to make my DM look like a star. Again, new variable, I'll call that clip, and we're going to use gdarwarp again. Name the output, dmclip.tiff. Input is still the dm we loaded up here. And now to clip our digital elevation model, we need to provide a cutline, and we will do so by adding the argument cutline dataset name, and the name is star.shp. And then I'd like to set the extent of this output clip digital elevation model to the extent of my input shapefile. I will do that by setting crop to cutline to true. Then I will also specify a no data value for all the pixels that lie outside of the star polygon. So I'll set that to numpy nan. And that's it. Let's run this and have a look at my new data set. And here it is, looking really good. And before we end this tutorial, I want to remind you to close your datasets for any changes to be properly written to your disk. So I will set ds, ds clip, ds res, ds reprojected to none. All right, that's it for this tutorial on how to use GDARWARP in Python. Feel free to mix and match all those additional keyword arguments, meaning you don't have to first reproject and then clip your reprojected dataset. You could do that all at once. And also I want to remind you there are many more options for GDARWARP that I didn't cover in this tutorial. So check those out. I will link the GDAL webpage in the description where I will also put the code and I hope to see you next time.